dear students we are going to see another problem on projection of solid now we are going to talk about your uh, cone problem so in this problem they are given your diameter of 60 mm and your height has been 80 mm they have told that the axis has been inclined 30 degree to hp first i have to draw your top view your top view will be a circle i just used your circle command and given my radius as 30 i have drawn a circle next i have to divide your circle into eight equal parts so that i just clicked your line command i just divided into first two equal parts next once again i will be dividing into four equal parts after that just select these two lines make a copy with respect to midpoint move it outside then once again select these two lines rotate about your midpoint 45 degree now once again you select this line click your move command with respect to your center point just move it and match with your center point now it has been divided into eight equal parts okay next i have to draw your projection line sir so first just click your line over here just draw till your xy line so i just projecting your each and every points to your xy line clear next they have told that your height has been 80 mm okay now first i have to draw your center line so before that i just clicked your by layer and i have selected your center line okay they are given your height has been 80 so just click line from this point just draw an 80 mm line so this is your height okay now once again change it to by layer and just click your line and join to your points so i have been joining each and every points to your apex point so from your apex point i have joining all your points okay next i have to mark your dark line see your base circle will be your dark so i have just selected it under 0.35 see students for your cone and a cylinder only your outer edges will be a dark line okay so your inner parts these are all the thin lines which have been over here these are all generators that is an imaginary line which we are drawing for your draw the diagram so these two lines and your axis line should be always on a thin line only clear next i have to mark your alphabet just click your alphabet text over here just i am going to mark your alphabets first a i will be just moving it over here so next i have to make a copy then i will be editing your text so for that i just clicked it and make a click your copy button over here just this is your b point c d e f g and h and this is your apex point o so just double click it change it as o similarly at each and every points this will be your b c d your next point will be your e f g and your last will be your h similarly i am going to get your dimension on your uh, alphabets on your front view also just make a copy of this so this is your first point this will be your a dash next to make a copy of this so 1 2 3 and 4 so this will be your b dash h dash this will be your c dash and g dash this point will be d dash f dash your last will be your e dash point clear now i mark your text similarly i have to mark your apex point also so your apex point will be your o dash so i just make a copy of this this is your o dash point so next i have to rotate it your axis students c students always we are going to rotate with respect to your base only 
so here they are given your axis has been inclined to 30 degree so already informed on your class so whenever your axis inclination problem is being given what you are going to do you are going to just subtract it from 90 so that you get your base inclination it will be easy for drawing see they are given 30 degree so what i am going to do is i am going to just subtract it my 90 minus this theta angle so this will be 60 so what i will be doing is just make a copy about your base point and just to place it once again click rotate about this axis point you are going to rotate 60 degree so 90 minus 30 will be 60 okay so now i will be just selecting your points click move from this point you just move it and place it over here okay now you can, you can check students uh, see now i have to just extend this line just click it extend ex just click this line so you can see it has been extended now i am going to check your angular dimension see it has been 30 degree your axis has been inclined 30 degree so now go for a diameter click your diameter over here you can see your diameter has been 60 mm your next your height for that i just clicked your linear from point to so i have my height has 80 mm next i have go for my projection students just click your line from this point draw your projection lines vertically okay so from each and every points we are going to draw your projection lines so from b point i have drawn a projection line similarly from c point similarly from your d point and from e point similarly i have to draw from your apex point also so i just completed your vertical projection next i go for my horizontal projection so from g point Similarly, from H point, from A point, from B point, your last from your C point. So, now C students, we are going to mark your alphabets. Okay, this is your A point. So just copy, I just selecting all your alphabets so that I can just move it and place it over here. So I just selected all your alphabets. So all your 6 and your O, just make a copy and move it somewhere and just place it. Now you can move and place students. So this is your A point, just move it. So here I have my A point. So this is your A. Similarly your B. C point. D point. your D will be over here your E point F G so I just moved and I just placed it on your intersection points G and your last your H point then I have your O point I just moved it with respect to your base point I just got your O point see students now your base has been opened on this direction so I have to view in this direction automatically your G F E C point will be visible whereas your H A and B point will be invisible so what I have to do is I have just picked your spline just type S P L I N E enter ok just join it your points first point second point third fourth and your fifth point ok 
okay now similarly you are going to join your other part of your spline so just click your spline because we need to mark your hidden lines if you draw with a single spline you cannot mark your hidden lines and all so you have to divide draw two splines then only you can mark your parts okay so i have drawn your spline next click your line from g point to o point once again to c point okay now these two line will be a dark line so i just change it into 0.35 similarly your spline will be your dark line so 0.35 see students this point part will be invisible so i have to view from this direction your g f e d c point will be visible whereas your a b h has been invisible so just click that part and just select it as dashed line okay now i have drawn your problem and completed the problem okay thank you all